the Boeing 767 caution warning and auto land demonstration. In this first part of the video, you're going to see N2 go into the caution range. So, the is pushed full forward, takeoff configuration warning comes on, and the reason that comes on is because this aircraft is not configured for takeoff, like flaps being down, auto brake set into the RTO position, etc. So, as you can see, amber is what's around the N2 indication, and that means it's in the caution range, and takeoff configuration warning is in red. Those are always the colors. Amber means caution, warning is in red. Now, throttles are pushed back, amber turns to white, and the takeoff configuration warning is extinguished. In this part of the video, you're going to see the reverse thruster indications. Now, there's two of them, amber and green. Amber means that the thrust reverser is unlocked, and green means that thrust is actually being produced. See right there, amber means the thrust reverser is unlocked, and now it's green, that means thrust reversers are actually producing thrust. There's the maximum, about 56-57%. Now thrust reversers are gone back to idle. It goes backwards from the green to amber. And thrust reversers are locked. Now if you look on the bottom, there's the thrust reverser moving. And back. Moving it back activates it. Moving it forward deactivates it. This last part of the video, you're going to see an auto land. And what that is, is the autopilot is landing the aircraft. So at 2500 feet BGL, or radar altitude as it's known inside the airplane, it, the EGBWS alerts the pilot that it is at 2500. And it is indicated by the tape that's going up and the digital display right next to it. 2400, 2350, etc. Now, the green trapezoid you see right there is called the rising runway. And that picks up the localizer, which is just the center of the runway. And that little dotted line on the right side is the glide slope. And that is just the given angle that will help you get at the what's called the touchdown zone inside the runway so you don't overshoot or undershoot. Now if you look on the autopilot on the left side you'll see 137 knots. That is the optimum airspeed given for the aircraft's weight and wind. It's called V-REF. Down here you'll see the VSI is keeping about 700 or so feet per minute and the auto brakes are set at 1. Now the radar you see down there on the left is a dotted line with a, like a rectangle on the top. The dotted line is the, given, is the track of the aircraft going towards the runway. The runway is the rectangle. Now this is just an overview of what the flight deck looks like on land. See the gear handle is over there and it's in the down lock position. You can see more about those and other instruments in my 767 flight deck demonstration video. Now, that little LAM-3 right in the middle came on, and that means that all three autopilots, left, center, and right, are helping land the airplane to keep it at the RNP of 0.2%. RNP is required navigational performance, and that is the requirement for certification of the airplane. If it has an error of more than 0.2%, the autopilot is not legally allowed to land the plane. We are at 850, 800. Now once we get under 500 feet, the EGPWS starts counting off at hundreds of feet. And once it gets below 100 feet, it counts off every 50, and after, after 50, it counts off every 10. Now, when we're getting closer and closer to the runway, and we're going to get to a point where we're going to start seeing the rising when we actually rise. Heads three, and it's called the rising runway. Now, what that indicates is that the aircraft is extremely close to having its wheels actually touch down onto the runway. Now, that minimums warning or alert is telling the pilot that the minimum altitude at which he set for himself to decide to finish the landing or not has come and gone. Alright, now we're very close, middle marker, 
hundred. <laughs> now, the, I actually disconnected the autopilot, but once the aircraft touches down, it you know, disconnects it itself. First thrust is unlocked. Our thrust reverser is producing thrust, just like you saw previously in this video. And at 80 knots, thrust reversers are deactivated. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed.